welcome I will be upgrading my laptop's processor I I bought a core i7 2630QM uh, supposedly compatible for my uh, Asus K43SJ uh, so I will need to disassemble my laptop and uh, hopefully get to the board clean out the fan um, uh, what else clean the laptop while I'm at it now the tools I'll be needing I have uh, a set of small bit screwdrivers I have a multi bit screwdriver that hopefully has a Phillips hopefully it has a Phillips bit in it I currently have a security bit on there anyway I have a soft brush for brushing my laptop uh, I may need to lubricate the fan so I have some WD-40 I know that's not the right lubricant for the fan but it's what I got I have some paper towels I have some alcohol wipes over there at the other table. Uh, obviously, I need a working surface. This is not an ESD uh, free table, so to speak. It's just our, my dining table. Uh, I guess that'll do. Anyway, this is not a tutorial on replacing the processor. It's I'm just showing you that I'm going to upgrade my processor from a, a Core i3 to a Core i7. I have the memory maxed out at 8 GB. Uh, I'm not sure if it could go any higher than 8 GB of DDR3. But this laptop is quite old so I'm hoping to max out the specs and get a few more years out of it before I potentially get myself another laptop okay I managed to get all the screws off except for one that's on the um, on the uh, hinge. Uh, probably the post is broken. Um, I removed the hard drive, the memory, the Wi-Fi module. I removed the keyboard, the optical drive. I'm just uh, checking if I missed any screws. Mm, probably not. Now, how to remove that screw? Okay, so I managed to remove the top cover, as you can see. So, right, so I'll be removing the board in a while. I'll be replacing the batter the internal battery as well and cleaning the fan, the fan right here. Okay, so here's the board. I got it out finally. Um, it's relatively clean. So here's the GPU. Here is the processor. Uh, we have quite the uh, long copper pipes
try to lift up the bow. And that is one crusty looking thermal paste. Uh, we need, I probably need to clean this up. Clean the fan as well. Um, clean out the GPU. Remove the processor and clean that out. Not sure about this tape thing here. If maybe it needs to be transferred to the new processor, I don't know. So this time I will need a flat head for that to unlatch the CPU. There, it's unlocked. And the CPU should lift out freely. Yes. There it is, the Core i3. So we will be installing our new CPU now. Pray to God it works. So we align the arrows. So the arrow is here, so we should be able to drop it in without any problems. So, here we go. Okay, it went in, so I need to lock it in place. Alright, it's in. It's not going anywhere. I should have cleaned the... I should have cleaned the... F the fan... First, before I installed the processor. And I should have cleaned the GPU first, before I installed the processor. Jeez, man. Rookie mistake. I actually managed to clean the uh, a heat sink and fan assembly. I also cleaned the fan. Uh, this is just held on by tape. But anyways, uh, I I decided to transfer the tape after all time to apply the thermal paste now if I remember correctly how to do this now the thermal paste is applied just a tiny bit like that tiny bit on this CPU I think that's too much yeah yeah I think that's too much so anyways this is now disposable tighten these things. 